Yo, what's up, dudes? So check this out. This just showed up. A wonderful gift from uh, uh, Patrick Hofschmidt at uh, Hofschmidt Picks uh, in Switzerland. Uh, as you may know, I have them out on the table here. Uh, I bought uh, four picks, I guess about three weeks ago. And um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description. Check that video out. And um, he saw the video and uh, wrote to me on Instagram and said, uh, hey, I loved your video. I'm just going to send you a little, a little present. And I was like, cool. So I'm hoping that there's a pick in here. Quite frankly, it feels like there's a couple of things in here. I am, I am I'm extremely excited to open this up. I... I got to confess, I've had a bit of an obsession about <laughs> his picks in like the last three weeks. I'm, uh, I, I, I really love them. Um, so uh, for comparison's sake, I, I, I put out on the table here. That's a Fender Heavy, right? That's what a that's what a Fender Heavy looks like. And then there, there's my standard Daw Man. And then as you can see, in both size and thickness. Uh, you know, the Hofschmidt uh, picks are just, you know, on a, on a whole nother level. So, um, I am very excited to open this up. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to turn this monitor off. It's a, it's a bit distracting. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Let's open this up. It's so exciting. As always, they come in this lovely portfolio here with the guitars on the back. I'm excited. I'm very excited. All right, you ready? You might even see them before me. Wah! Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I already, oh! Oh, these are amazing. Oh, Patrick. Oh. Thank you for your support. Proud owner of some original Hofschmidt platforms, goodly crafted in Switzerland by artisan luthier Patrick Hofschmidt. And then he signs and dates it. Um, this is probably my best camera. I went mega super close up with this camera. Can I get it a little bit to the back? No, not really. But what a wonderful, what a wonderful, uh, this is the same as, as last time. Oh. Are you see are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> oh I, I did a live show uh, afterwards and I and and a lot of these picks I was sort of talking about and, and, and they're in here. Oh oh he did it all. Oh look at these. Wow. Wow. A little bit of everything. Let me move those out of the way and put these over here. As you can see, they're different thicknesses. In uh, different materials. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we'll do it by thickness. I think these are about the same. We might have to move these back a little bit to get them all into frame here. Wow. So we have metal. Um, is it... I remember that one. I forget the, um, let me, uh, let me find, I have to turn the monitor back on. Let me find out this material here. That's a, that's acrylic. Okay. So that's acrylic. I don't think that is though. I think this next one is, yeah, that's a Marley. Uh, oh, I think that's acrylic as well. That might be acrylic as well. All right, that's a three millimeter Marley plectrum. And then the next one is a three millimeter chaos plectrum. Again, also acrylic. And then 
after that, this one here, which is so cool, is what they call the, uh, the canvas. And uh, that is actually a high quality resin blended with canvas, this one here. And in fact, you can see it go through the, you know, the thickness there. And then the last one uh, is the coffee comb, which is a honeycomb. This one here, but it's of the coffee color. They, he, he, uh, there's several, oh wow, did you see that? You can't see it at that end. It lights up though. Um, do I have a little light here? I guess I don't. We'll have to, we'll have to get that going from the back. It, oh, yeah. Oh, no, you can see right through. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow. Look at those. Just exquisite. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Super excited. Um, let me uh, get a guitar, and uh, let's try a few. Oh, wow, these are all so cool. Oh, very nice material. Very good good grip to it. Oh, same with that. Really good grip uh, to, to his acrylics here. Very good grip to it. Yeah, let's go. You know what? Well, we have a close-up. Let, let's take a look at these each one by one. There's the, the metal. I almost need like a pair of tweezers so my finger isn't covering it up so much. There's another, there's uh, another acrylic. Let's look at the material, so beautiful. So well done. And you know, if you watch any of the videos um, on his website, the, you know, he's not walking around picking, you know, plectrums out of a out of a bin saying oh what did they order oh they order one of these and he goes and pulls it out of a bin he he has a sheet of the material oh wow wow he has a sheet of the material and uh he he cuts it out of the sheet and then hand makes the picks all to order you know, it take hours of work if you've ever watched uh, one of the videos. Wow. Look at that. Again, it's hard to see here because I don't have a light behind it. But that's transparent. If I held up a light behind it, it would shine through it. You can kind of see it at the edges. Right? Maybe even a little bit there as you're getting a little bit of side reflection. Right. You see that? Wow. Wow. What a beautiful material. What a beautiful pick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so exciting. And again, you know, compare that to my massive three millimeter pick. All right? You can you can and then just a regular fender heavy. And you can see you're you know, you're dealing with some some serious picks here. All right. Okay. I'm going to grab a guitar and we're going to we're going to check out a few of these picks. All right. I'll see you in a sec. All right, we are back. So the first pick I'm checking out is the metal pick. I'm actually familiar with metal picks. I've played um, brass picks in the past. There was a company that was buying up broken cymbals and then cutting out the broken cymbal into uh, uh, picks. <laughs> so it's like the it's like the world's the world's best uh, pick scrape. Look at that thing. Um, the only downside to a metal pick. 
is that actually his metal's pretty good. Right, you'll get, I mean, even this fender. Right? Even even the, the fender pick is gonna do it. All all picks will will make some sort of a slide noise. It's just that the harder and the denser the material it tends to be, you know, even more prominent. So, you, you, you know, with metal pick, but if you're going for the, who, who plays a metal pick? I want to say um, off the top of my head, Brian May, and is it uh, uh, Billy Gibbons too? Oh, yeah. So I don't think you notice it so much on the chords, but on the on the single note. Oh man, so awesome. What a pick. Amazing. Again, not not a good one for whipping out into the audience. <laughs> oh, I you know what? I, I, so let me just show the the back of that pick. So the front is a little bit lighter. The back, very colorful. Look at that. Yeah. And the material. <laughs> Um, actually has a really good grip. I would say that this actually might have a Maybe even a little bit brighter sound. Helps if you, helps if you play the right notes. <laughs> I feel like I'm out. I just pulled this out of the bag and I, I didn't even tune it. All right, on to pick number three. Oh, I love that. I love the shape of it. I think this is his, I think that's his anvil shape or his mega jazz. I think maybe it's mega jazz. I'm, again, I'm terrible with the, with the names of this. I, I get, I'll leave a link to his website. Uh, in the description, uh, not an affiliate link or anything like that. Uh, it's just a, a courtesy if you want to get there and check out this stuff. Nice. Oh, 
This is a great pick. I, I, I yeah. yeah. Which camera am I looking at? Right there. Again, right there. It's a um. It's a very uh, comfortable pick in the hand, <clears throat> and uh, very easy to use, and it rolls right off the strings. Yeah, and he's using some good material there. All right, on to number number three. Look at this thing. They're all like little works of art. Again, he hand makes these. All right, so a little bit. A tiny bit. Yeah. They're probably the same, but this one actually feels like a tiny bit sharper. Oh my god, I love this pick. The material is um super grippy. I mean for for a for an acrylic, uh it really does have some uh just an amazing grip to it, you know? And and, and it's probably because it's it's very um uh, what I want to say, sheer, like dense, like there's a lot of surface area uh, to grab onto. I think a more porous pick. Might be a little bit harder. Uh, his picks are always the best for doing tremolo picking because you get that big, you know, um, economy of motion savings plus the the tip comes down at, at just the right angle where you're not right very glides very down back and forth on on both sides. It's it's a it's a go. Okay, here we go. You know, it's a good pick for that. Uh, wow, look at that thing. Wow. Wow. So when I first looked at this, I said, oh, it's a, right, when I first looked at this, I was like, oh, it's a photograph. It's a picture. No, 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 that that's real. <laughs> that really is canvas fibers in there. Like when you look up at it close, it, no, no, it really is. It's real. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a photograph at all. It really is. You know, canvas fibers inside of a resin. I mean, how cool is again? I, uh, I I I can just see myself buying like literally dozens more picks from this guy. I I just I, I'm obsessed with them. I am obsessed with them. I really am. Collect them, trade them. Right? It's like I want one of every of every material. I tell you, the one I really uh, I'll check out on the on my next order. Is uh is one of those Torlons? Oh my God! It's like I know it's because it's canvas. I want to say it sounds a little scratchier, <laughs> but it could it could all be in the head. What a pack!
Oh my God, this pick is awesome. The grip. I don't know what the resin is, but. So when you look at it, it's so flat on the top and on the back, but that's because they clearly, he, they mash it between some sort of a press, right? And then in between is filled with the resin. It's almost like this, this goes in some sort of like a, like a pan, you know what I'm saying? The fibers go in, the resin gets poured in around it, and then it gets like smashed down flat and the resin cures. And you've got this pressed sheet of canvas fibers, you know what I'm saying? With the, with the resin around it. And again, when I first looked at it, I said, oh, oh th that's a photograph. But <laughs> that's, that's no photograph. <laughs> that, that really is, that canvas. It's amazing. That is amazing. Oh, friggin' awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, here we go. Come to the honeycomb hideout. Look at that thing. Again, it is transparent. It's hard to... to, to tell you. Oh, my God. You can see right through it. But you can't see through. I don't have a light behind it. I need a light. <laughs> oh, man. Again, it, it helps if you play the right notes. I wonder if I can get it to reflect in the... Yeah, you see that? You can, you can almost see how clear it is in the, in the pickup, right? You can see a reflection <laughs> of the light going through it. See it? See it? Look at that. That is freaking awesome. Oh, my God. And I know they, they make a raspberry one in red. They make a, a caramel one. Again, should have really tuned up before I came on there. I'm just so excited. Trying to think of all my good picking songs. Damn. 
Oh my God! All of these. Again, let me get another picture of it there. Oh, see again. Now you can see through, right? See, on the, on the pick. Uh, I mean the the face of the pickup. You see the light shining through. Oh my God. So freaking awesome. So we got the the coffee, of course. The coffee honeycomb. We got the green pressed canvas. Which is mind a mind blowing material. And and I both the shape and the size and just everything about it is so awesome. So um I don't know. It's hard it, it you know, it's a confluence. <laughs> and then, um, you know, of course. What's so funny is, is that when you go from the thicker picks and you go back to these, you're like, it doesn't feel like you're holding anything. Yet, yet, <laughs> you know, a minute ago, it felt like a very large pick, right? <laughs> These are all freaking awesome, and uh, let's just let's just let's just recap. Let's just run a a quick recap here. That's a that's a fender heavy, all right? As you can see, that don't blink, you'll miss it. <laughs> that is my normal thickness, all right? Which is about the same as this. It's also a, a three millimeter, right? These here, they seem to be about the same. Again, I, this is a Fender Heavy. But then we get to the big breeds. Oh, I have to do like a, like a best in show. <laughs> here come the big boys. Look at that. Just amazing. And then the honeycomb hideout. Just an amazingly gorgeous pick. Look at that thing. They're works of art. You know, and, and the more we were talking about this on a couple of live shows. So, um, uh, I, I did a live, after I got the picks, um, I did a live show and we. In fact, I did two live shows that night. I went back later, and we, we did a second late night one. And both both times, people were like, "What the hell is that pick you use?" And I was like, "Oh, let me show you." And we went went over, and, and we were looking at um, uh, the website there and going through. Uh, I want to say he's got maybe fifty materials, maybe more. Right? Because I mean, and there is some repetition. In other words, like the honeycomb comes in like like a red and like a like a clear right so i don't know if there's a if there's a, a difference in the actual material or if it's just you know a, a color thing um but uh he's got so many so many amazing uh ones and and, and another amazing thing about uh, if i could use the word amazing again uh <laughs> amazingly awesome um is that he'll break down like where that plastic lies on a plastic chart. And you can see like he uses some of the most advanced plastics. Uh, you will you will be dead long before that pick is worn out. Uh, that pick's lifespan far exceeds your own. So uh, these are not inexpensive picks. Um, you know, I, I my first order, uh, I, I think it was 100 for these four in the back row here. Uh, that was 105 euro, and then with shipping, it was 115 euro, and then when you translate it to U.S. dollars, it's like 136 dollars, right? But again, you're not. It's not like you're you're going to be running out and buying replacements for these picks anytime soon. And what I like to do is I like to mix it up, right? You don't want. I don't need three picks of the same color. 
I just want to get, you know, one of, like, every one of his, like, uh, materials. And again, some of those materials, he's got some glow materials that are insane. Like the, like the strongest glow stuff out there. Um, so this won't be the last that you see of um, Huffschmidt picks on my, uh, on my channel here. Um, like, I got a birthday coming up. <laughs> and uh, I, could, I, could, I could see myself putting together an order for myself and having my wife pay for it <laughs> as a part of a uh, birthday present. Because uh, th this is like the exact type of thing that's perfect for a birthday, right? Uh, a ridiculous, it, it's, it, it's a hobby that you love, uh, you know, it's a, a, a ridiculously um, a, a high-end and over-the-top pick, um, handmade, artisan stuff here. Perfect for a birthday gift. Perfect. So, um, all right, there you go. I will leave, uh, obviously, links in the description. Uh, check out the prior uh, videos and check out his website. And uh, super extra mega special thanks to Patrick Hushmit for sending these over. Uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, came out of nowhere again. I got these four in the back maybe three weeks ago. And these just showed up about an hour ago. And I couldn't run on here. I, I, <laughs> I was like, the sooner you make this video, the sooner you can open that envelope and see what's exactly in there. And uh, I could feel there was something in there bulky. And I was hoping it was going to be some picks. And, and it was. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Patrick. Very much appreciated. And uh, there you go, dudes. As always, thanks so much for hanging out. And rock on.